Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. And here it is. Steve Jobs unveiled the first iPhone in January 2007. It ran the first version of what would become iOS and was exclusive to AT&T in the US. The HTC Dream, also known as the T-Mobile G1, arrived in September 2008 and was the first phone that ran Google's Android software. The iPhone featured a single home button and a 3.5 inch 480 by 320 pixel touchscreen. Icons for phone, mail, safari, and the built-in iPod lived at the bottom of the screen. It had no physical keyboard. It needed an iTunes account to work and introduced things like pinch to zoom and what Apple called visual voicemail. But I wanted to say congratulations on the iPhone. It is unbelievably cool. The Dream rocked a 3.2 inch 480 by 320 pixel touchscreen and a physical QWERTY keyboard that slid out from beneath the display. It had physical buttons for answering and ending calls, plus home and back, as well as a trackball navigator. Users could customize their home screen and download apps from the Android market, the original name for the Google Play Store. The iPhone had a 2 megapixel camera that didn't record video. Photos could be shared via email, but not through text message. Off of Wi-Fi, the first iPhone used AT&T's Edge network, and in our testing at the time, a 9.4 megabyte file took an average of 15 minutes and 41 seconds to download. The HTC Dream used T-Mobile's 3G network and came preloaded with Google Talk, AIM, Windows Live, and Yahoo Messenger. Apps like Gmail, Google Maps, and Google Calendar were an essential part of Android 1.0. The Dream's YouTube app only played high-res videos on Wi-Fi and downgraded in quality when using data. Its 3.2 megapixel camera also didn't support video recording, and at the time, CNET said taking pictures was a challenge on the device. The Dream used a mini USB port for both power and headsets. There was no dedicated headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter or otherwise. The iPhone's 3.5 millimeter headphone jack lived on top of the phone next to the power button. At launch, the iPhone didn't have GPS, but did come with Google Maps. Instead of connecting to a satellite, it pinged nearby Wi-Fi hotspots and cell towers to roughly pinpoint the phone's location. The iPhone started at 499 for four gigabytes of internal storage and maxed out at 16 gigabytes. The HTC Dream had a micro SD card slot and cost $179 with a two-year data agreement. After versions with names like Jelly Bean and Oreo, the most recent version of Android is simply called Android 12. HTC manufactured Google's own Nexus One in 2010. Google launched its own Pixel line of phones in 2016 and acquired most of HTC's phone business in 2017. It is one of the most beautiful designs you've ever seen. To date, Apple has released a total of 29 iPhone models and 15 versions of iOS.